This is a short video just to show how I try not to waste any paint while I'm doing my acrylic pours. Um, so I have a pretty little painting in front of me. It's not actually a painting, it's a skin. So I'm going to show you how I created this. But first, I'm going to talk you through the products that I use to help me create this. Uh, it, start, it all starts off with a um, silicon mat which is the full size one here. Um, you can get these on Amazon. They are about five pounds and um, they're 100% silicon and they are heat resistant um, baking mats. You should be able to find them. I cut mine up into squares and all different shapes so that I can catch my drips and also pour on them. So when I'm doing a, for example, I'm using up my paints, when I'm doing a bloom pour, I like to spin my blooms on a cake stand. This is one also I got on Amazon. They come like that, which these are quite sturdy, like so. Or you can also buy them like this, they spin. And they look like that, they're thin. These work just as well, and they're pretty cheap. So you just put in cake stand on your search. On Amazon, you should be able to find them. So when I'm doing a pour, I'll place one of these silicone mats over the top so that when I'm spinning, nothing gets wasted. It'll spray out onto the mat. So for example, if I'm doing a tile, this is a ceramic tile. I'll put the tile in the center, make sure everything is, I'll put some tape on underneath the mat and underneath the tile so when I spin it doesn't come off. And I will just show you one that I've done. This is one that's already spun out. This is a couple of days ago, so it's dry. That's a ceramic tile on the mat. So I poured my paint onto the tile, I span it out and let this dry like this. I pick the tile off, so I'm left with a lovely tile, I taped off the back of that tile. And then I am left with a skin, which I can then just peel off the mat, like so. And I have a beautiful patterned skin that I can make jewelry out of. Or you can just, if they're pretty good and pretty big, you can make little paintings out of them. But there's um, a necklace and matching earrings from some skins that I made. But that is a whole other video on how to make the jewellery. I'll have to do that another day. So also I'm just going to show you quickly some skins that I have already produced. Um, from spinning, there's one there. So that's just paint. So you can cut that up, you can put a frame around it. It's still shimmery and it's all gorgeous. You can see the cells there in the middle. It's really beautiful. There's that one. There's a very similar one. I was just using up my paints here. It's got a lot of copper bronze and there's gorgeous cells there. I can't wait to make something out of that. I did a swipe. So that's a lovely swipe. That's also really shimmery. I don't think there's a good light in here really. Catch up on the shimmer there. Just practicing the swipe technique. And I also pour onto laminate sheets. So this is just an old poster from an event that we had at Christmas time. Uh, I don't like to waste anything, so I just pour it over the top. And that is really nice. That's really shimmery. Lovely cells in that one. That's another idea. Bits of uh, photo. This is photograph paper that you put in your printer. That's catching the drips when I was spinning out on a tile. That's going to make nice jewellery. That's another one there. That's 
gold and silver. And that's just on a piece of laminated plastic. And it just goes on. There's a poster. Really bright pink colours. Shimmery. And also I cut the silicone mat up into strips. So this was a, just had to use up this colour. This is just sort of orange and teal. So that'll just peel off. And there you have the skin. It's so easy. So you don't want to commit yourself to a canvas all the time or even a tile. It's, you know, you just, it's a good idea. I'm sure there's lots of other people doing this out there. So yeah, that's what I do. Time and time again, try not to waste. And this one here is the one I'm actually gonna demonstrate. So that one is my most favorite. It's really shimmery. And I did a double cell activator in the middle. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. Thanks for watching. So I'm just pouring on normal house paint here for my pillow for the bloom pour technique. Pouring it on. It is just brilliant white interior paint, silk. And I got it from B&Q, a store in the UK that does their own brand called Valspa. Just putting on my first colour, which is a iridescent blue-green by Pebio. I mix the colours with um, polyurethane varnish and untinted base paint. The second colour I'm putting on is a green and it is a Perlex pigment mixed again with varnish and the untinted base paint. Third colour to go on is Azo Orange by Amsterdam. Using up all these colours that I had left over. I don't like to waste anything. I go back in with the green. I still had some left. So I'm just really throwing it on. You can see I'm just drizzling it on in just a very random way, just using up the last of my paints. I'm going to add my cell activator here, which is um, Amsterdam mixed with Australian Flood Flow Troll. So that was turquoise blue. And a second activator colour, titanium white, Amsterdam mixed, mixed with Flow Troll again. So a double cell activator, an experiment to see if it works. I'm now going to, excuse my head, I'm now going to blow across the pillow paint. I'm blowing the colours across. I'm blowing down first and then across. Getting that lovely bloom flower shape. Pushing those colours across the pillow paint until I'm happy with the design. So I'm now going to wait for the center to pop up. Because I've blown down in the center, I have to wait before I spin for those colors to pop through. So spinning one way gently and then spinning, spinning the opposite direction. So spinning to the right and then spinning back the other way to get that paint to cover the whole of my mat. So spinning to the right and spinning to the left. You can now see it's covered the silicone mat and the whole design is now complete. I was really pleased with this pour. The colours blended really well, the oranges and the blues. I'm just ready to lift it off of the spinning cake stand and put it over to the side to dry. And that's it complete. So this is the finished pour that is on a silicone mat 
I'm just about to peel it off of the mat. It comes off really easily. So I remove the mat, just a silica mat. And then we have the skin of the pore. There's the back, there's the front. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just like a painting and it's fantastic to do your practice pores on uh, so you don't have to waste a canvas or a tile or anything. This is just skin, just the skin of the paint. Any method, this is done with um, the bloom technique. You can do this with your flip cut pores. You can create skins and using any acrylic pour method. So um, yeah, have a go. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.